today I'm going to be doing a hobby craft haul. So for the past day or two I've been obsessed with watching two particular YouTubers videos and they're art YouTubers so I decided after watching their videos that I'm gonna go and buy canvases, acrylic paint, paint brushes, all of that and try and recreate some of their paintings. They do tutorials on easy beginner paintings and then they also do more advanced ones so I'm gonna start with the easy ones because I don't know how good I'm going to be at this and they'll probably turn out badly but we'll see. So yeah I'm just going to dive right in and show you what I got. Um, I'll quickly show you the YouTubers that I'm obsessed with. So the first one is Ray Grimes Fine Art. I'll insert a little picture because I don't think it will show up on the screen because it's too bright. And then the second one is Siraj Fine Arts and he has 1.2 million subscribers. He has a lot. Um, the other person only has 240k but that's still a lot um, and they do like all these art videos and yeah they're both really really good and they're really relaxing to watch. I've watched some other people and I just can't watch it for a solid like 20 minutes whereas these people are so easy to watch. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start by showing you all my stuff. So the first thing I got was this art caddy and it was £6.50. Obviously I get discount on everything because it's from Hobbycraft. So for those of you that don't know, I work there so I get 25% off. Um, but I will go through and tell you the prices like as we go so that if you want to buy it yourself, you can. So this is what it looks like on the inside. So you can store all your brushes and things in the top here and then you've got a large space at the bottom. So I'm probably going to put my acrylic paints in here and then have my brushes at the top. So as we go I think I'm going to put stuff in here because otherwise I'm not going to fit anything on this table because I bought quite a lot. Um, so all of these acrylic paints are £2 at the moment. They do a set of 12 acrylic paints for £20, but they had browns and a cream, which I didn't want. So I decided that I would buy on my own, and then with my discount, it would balance out. So firstly, I got Grey Lilac, which is this one. Then I got Ultra Marine Blue. So I tried to get some colours that I thought that I could make some quite abstract paintings with. I got bright pink. And they're all such nice colours. I did think about mixing them, but I realised that if I was going to mix them, then I would use the paints up quicker than if I just bought the shade that I want. So I thought that this way I would make more use of each colour. So next I got primary yellow which is this one. Then I got leaf green, which is so bold. I'm hoping to do some landscape pictures with these. Um, then I got flame. That's meant to be, I don't know if you can see, it's more of like an orangey rather than red. It's kind of hard to tell with the lighting. This one is medium red. Then I got Mars Black. Then we got Pale Pink. Uh, Pearlescent Blue. Some of these are kind of in between sort of a lilac -y and a blue. So that's why I'm giving you the names because sometimes it's hard to tell what colours they are. Then I got Titanium White because I wanted white to overlay on some of the paintings. Um, and some people use it in the background to lighten colours. So they put it on the canvas first and then when they apply like a dark blue, um, when it goes over the part of the canvas that has this um, like clear white on it, it will lighten. Um, it's called like a mixing white. I do have it here. Um, then I got greenery, which is this one, a little dark green. And as I showed you, the titanium white. So those fit into my little caddy quite nicely in the bottom there then this is the one that I was talking about so it's called Bindex Brilliant and it's by 
PBO, I think it's pronounced. And there's different ones, but this is the band at the bottom that you should be looking for if you wanted this one. And on the back it says, not yellowing acrylic binder used to dilute acrylic colors and for creating collages. Um, because this is, I think this is what most people use on the back of the canvas. And then once they brush over it, the color lightens. So it's just like a subtle way of blending the color out to be lighter. Then I got, actually, that was, um, that was four pounds. There was a smaller one for two pound 90 and it was only a hundred mil. Whereas this one is 250 mil, which I thought was really good considering the price difference. Then I got this collapsible water pot, which was only two pounds. And that's what it looks like there because I thought for storage reasons, that's really helpful that it collapses into something a lot smaller. Then I got this brush um it's called round mop there we go um that's what it looks like a lot of people call this just like a makeup brush it looks like a blusher brush and i mean i would be too scared to try using a makeup brush and it would probably cost more because this was only two pound fifty um but this is basically used i have an acrylic pad here but like if you've got the paint on oh, i'm dropping everything if you've got the paint on here and you have it a dop of it there, then if you were to blend this out, it would create a lighter spreading of the color because if you just used a flat brush, it would be more precise. So this is just meant to create a messy look. So it's really good for like landscapes and things. So that's why I got that one. That was also after watching one of their videos, those two YouTubers. I'll link their things below just in case you want to check them out because I really like watching them. Then I got this large brush set and it's a three pack. So as you can see, you get this big one here and then you get the smaller one and the slightly bigger one there. But that was only five pounds and you got all three. So I thought that was really good. I got these mini canvases, which I thought might be quite nice as gifts. So I could do a mini picture on there. And these were three pounds. And I don't know what size they are. So in comparison to like my hand, they're quite small. Um, but I thought it's quite a nice like taster rather than having like a big canvas that they have to put somewhere. Um, I got a kid's messy mat, it's a painting mat, but it's just so that when I'm painting on this kitchen table, I'm not gonna have to wipe it up afterwards. It's just easier to use a mat. Then I've only got a couple of things left. I got these palette knives. I'll try and move them around so you can see them a bit better. So this one here, which is curved, that one is used for spreading the paints across the canvas. Then there is a flat one. There's a smaller flat one. And then this one here, which is a slightly different shape, they use to create um, like grooves, like lines of paint in the canvas. So I wanted this set and this was only two pounds. You could buy the metal ones, but I just thought, why would you buy the metal ones when you can have the plastic ones? Like, especially as a starter kit. I think if you're really into your painting, then maybe buy the metal ones. They are two pound 50 per um, palette knife. But the only reason I didn't get the metal ones is because they didn't have this one here, this bigger one. And I wanted all of them, so I thought I'll get that for now. And then once they get the other one in stock, then I can go back and buy that. I got two rolls of masking tape, which were a pound each, because especially when you're doing landscapes, to separate the sky and the sea or the sky and the ground, it's quite good to use masking tape and then you create that straight line. So it just means it's a lot cleaner and the paint doesn't spread onto the other side that you're creating a different texture on. Um, then I got this acrylic pad. I got this so that I'm not going straight onto a canvas and then potentially ruining it. So it looks like this. This is an A4 one. You can get an A3 one. I think A3 is the biggest they go with acrylic pads and then you start on canvases. And this is five pounds for this and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the paper has 
the same texture as a canvas in it so it's got the grooves in it and it's so that the paint sticks to it well and how many sheets do you get in here you get 25 sheets so I think that's quite good especially for starters because hopefully after my 25th sheet I will be able to move on to a canvas if not then I probably shouldn't be doing this um then I got these three canvas panels this was after I watched um Ray Grimes's video I commented saying like what do you use because I don't want to go straight onto a, like a box canvas before I've um done much like canvas work so he said that he uses a canvas panel and it's really thin as you can see at the side so it's not like a box canvas and then it's just a normal canvas but it's just a lot thinner um so i really like these and they were nine pounds fifty and it's a pack of three and they're 14 inch by 11 inch so they're quite big big enough for like an average size picture so i think they'll work quite well and then lastly i believe i got this canvas bag this isn't relating to the painting stuff but my dogs are barking um this doesn't relate to all the painting stuff but i might paint a design on it if i feel confident enough i have seen people paint their clothes and paint bags and things and i really want to do it but i need to practice first so this is the bag and it's similar to the one i made which i haven't shown you yet because i haven't made my may makes video but i will be and i will show you that if i do any painting before i film that video i will show you those as well because it might be quite interesting to see what i've made out of all this stuff that i've bought so um and that bag was only a pound because they're on offer at the moment so even if you just use it as it is and you don't even design it it's still worth it hey guys so i'm just popping in to tell you about a few products that i bought today i filmed that video yesterday and then after my shift today at hobbycraft i decided to buy a few more bits so i thought rather than filming a whole new video i would just add them in at the end so i got these little stamps hopefully you can see so there's one that is a little camera there's one that's a map uh, one says let's go one says bon voyage and then there's like some stamp like letter stamps on there um but i do a lot of postcards so i thought it'd be quite interesting to stamp these on there i got these three ink pads so i got a peachy color i got a pinky color and then i got an emerald green and it's got a glittery tint to it all of those were one pound um obviously i get discount on stuff so it's slightly cheaper for me then I got this palette knife. I got it in the number 12. And this was £2.50. Um, and this stamp set was £3. And I got the palette knife because I, you'll see earlier in the video, I bought a plastic one. And you got it came in a little set. And I tested it out last night. And it's not great. Um, some of them are fine. But it just the plastic bends. Whereas because this one's metal... Um, it doesn't bend as easy and it's slightly thinner because it's made of metal so they can make it thinner without it ending up breaking so as you can see it's very thin so it means that you can do really precise stuff with it and then lastly I got these three packs of pegs how much were these um, they were 50p each because I think their class is Easter but the colors like you could use them just for every day as well so i got these so there's blue green and yellow in there and it's because i want to switch up my wall that i've got in the background here um although i love it like there's not enough space for any more postcards so i wanted to make it look a bit more like minimalist so i wanted to have a string and then like peg the postcards on there because i thought it might look a bit more tidy um yeah, I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'll probably do a video on it to show you maybe a room tour or something. Let me know if you want to see that. But yeah, um, I'm going to go back to the other video now. So, bye! So, how much did we spend? Um, so, obviously, I get the 25% off. So, all of this would have come to, if you didn't have discount, £63.80. 
but because I get the 25% off, it was only £47.83, which I think is really good. Especially because I think what we have here is like everything that you would need for a starter kit. You've got a caddy, you've got your brushes, you've got your palette knives, you've got a couple of canvases for when you feel confident enough to actually move on to a canvas. You've got a mat, you've got your masking tape for when you want to separate a picture and you've got your acrylic pad for practicing on and a water pot because I think using glasses is gonna have to stop because I keep using glasses as water pots and the paint just ends up like discoloring the glass so it's just not working um but yeah I'm really pleased with everything I got and how much I spent I think that it was like around my budget my I wanted to spend under 50 pounds but I knew that I could spend I think it was up to 75 and then with the discount it would be fine so yeah I was under budget by like two pounds so that's good and um, yeah, I'm hoping that I'll be able to recreate some things. After watching one of, I think it was, who was it? They did a cherry blossom video and my mum really liked it. So I really want to recreate it. And um, I think it would be really cool to recreate it and then give it to her. Um, and it, that was Siraj Fine Arts. He did like a cherry blossom and then he did a field in the background and it looked really, really nice. But I thought maybe I could do like a cherry blossom tree as the main focus um, in sort of my own style. So yeah, I'm gonna try and recreate that. I don't know what I'm gonna do first. I'm probably gonna start on the acrylic pad because I don't wanna ruin the £9.50 canvases that I bought. And I've only got three at the moment. I plan to buy more because it's the sort of thing that when you've got them, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna go to waste. They just stay in the packaging, so I can just keep them. So I'll probably get another set. This was the last set of three, um, but now that they've been bought, they'll get put on order again. So then hopefully next time I go in there, they will have more because I would like some more. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and give this video a thumbs up if you like the stuff that I bought. Um, let me know if you're into painting and if you want to see me do an actual video of me painting. Whenever I do crafts and things, I always film it, even if I don't post it. Like, I might say, oh, I've made this, and you might be thinking, well, where's the video? But I do keep them in a folder, just in case people ask for them. Um, I always film them anyway, because you can't refilm it after you've made it. So, yeah, I will be filming all the paintings and things that I do, so let me know if you want to see what I've made. And um, yeah, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button because we're at 1.1 and I want to get to 1.5 because I'm aiming high. So um, yeah, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.